Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little overweight, uh, but we have a lot, a lot, a lot of meat. So everything in there is good. Um, clothing's all pretty good. I, I repaired the socks just to get us to daylight. There's all that meat. Uh, we got enough water. Two bows. We have one of those. Let's do this. Um, there we go. And yeah, we got two of those that we can craft. We are day 117. Here's our skills. Top three are all at five. Uh, mending is slowly, slowly working its way up. And we are... I'm going to call that early in the morning. We got 27 minutes, 32. That's all good. All right, let's, uh, we got a bear to go harvest. Hey, XM, you're back. <laughs> you lost connection? Oh, no, that is not good. These are all cooked. Okay. Um, let's do this. Make sure we're full. I'm going to drop this one. And yeah, we're good on water. Let's go. Let's go get a bear. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, let's. I know what I'm going to do. We got some reclaimed wood in here. Um, let me think. Actually, no, because I think it'll only take, like, a piece of coal and that stick that we're lighting the fire with. Should be okay for the time. It's not bad outside. It's minus 11, but it's nice and clear and sunny. Hopefully, we can find a couple more sticks. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have grabbed a piece of uh, reclaimed wood. Don't know. We're going to need a piece of coal to warm up anyway, so... I just don't want to have to use two pieces. Because that would be a waste. There he be. Oh. Oh, is it gonna give it to me? I think I can use this. Wait a second. We have five. We take that. We have six. Yes. We got the good bug. We got a good bug. That is a freebie. Come on, little fire. All right, that gives us. I'm gonna make sure it goes above it well. Okay, we're good. Uh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the pie. Okay, there's only two, actually. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's move them out of the way. And we'll do this. Well, we got two arrows on the warmth. So that's good. We're going to have a whole lot of cooked meat. So seven. I'm just taking full kilograms of this bear as well.
No point taking the, uh, the smaller portions, 27 minutes. We'll take six, I guess. A stick, yeah. Let's just take six. I was considering putting the, the fire in amongst these big trees, thinking that they might help with a wind block, but I don't know. I didn't do it. Where are you? There you are. Take six again. I guess we'll do six each time. Seems to work out time wise. That. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, good, good, good. It was cooked when I started eating it. <laughs> That was my fault. Uh, let's... We'll just take five, why not? Thirty-three. What's the actual temperature outside? It's minus three. Actually. Uh, yeah, let's drop one of you. There, that's been jiggled. 21 minutes. Oh, perfect. Grab those. Oh, that's not going to finish. Um, let's just get these inside here. And we'll take... Uh, where am I going? Right there. We'll take the hide and the guts all in one shot. That's a long time though. We might get cold. I didn't bother to drink the tea because I wasn't sure if it would really matter anyway. I think by the time... Yeah, you're not going to matter. Uh, by the time... Where am I? Right there. You go in there. Let's take that out. Uh, let's drink. I think by the time the fire would have worn off uh, or would have burnt out that... Oh, damn. I forgot about those. The, the tea would have worn off anyway, so... At least that's what I think. That's why I didn't bother to drink it. We got yet another bear. I think we can uh, start making our way to Sundered Pass now. We'll check the arrows to make sure that we have all the possible arrows crafted that we can do. I 
and then we'll start the journey. Where? Whoa, turn. Where's the house? Why did it have to get foggy? At least, you know what? It, it, look at that. Wow, it's plus five. That is very warm. sucks I think we uh, I don't want to drop that okay we have 34 arrows I don't want to just drop this here because then I th think I'm gonna struggle to find it I think I'm bit it's I think it's got to go behind us yeah I'm going to do that. I'm turning around. I'm going that way. Where did the farm go? see nothing all right that is not proper where the hell are we well let's go this way we should hook up with the that little path that road shouldn't have been this difficult to find it I just simply had to walk basically straight from where I had the bear okay that's that wall so it's this way there's the road I know where that wall is. I don't know why I didn't really kind of look at that wall when we went past it the first time. There's the farmhouse. What's the time of day? Ah, it's almost, well, it's getting late, but I think we, because of the amount of uh, alertness we have, I think we will still try and make our way out of here. Drop that. And get over here. And let's put that there. I don't know if you can hear can't any beeping any in the background. Oh damn, we're too heavy. Um Been having issues with the fire alarm in this house. The past few days. It's hardwired, so it's not a battery issue. Uh, there's nothing cooking and it just wants to keep going off and it's going off right now it's like the smell of the of the heat coming from the furnace or something setting it off and it's kind of spooking me because the problem with that is you start getting into a mindset of, oh, it's nothing. But then one day it becomes something. 
Let's take that. How many is there? I think that's just one. It's it is. It's very irritating and very unsafe because yeah, like I just said, you can your mind can tell you, oh, it's nothing, but you know, maybe there is. I mean, maybe it's the fire alarm. Maybe it's. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's take these. Maybe the alarm is defective. I'm gonna take two of those because they're already made. And what's our food like? Okay, let's eat that. I'm just I'm gonna craft uh the rose hips. And what do we have? Let's have a quick look through here. Yeah, the hide and the guts obviously have to go downstairs and just... Uh, what's our weight? 52. The biggest problem I have with that alarm is that, what was it, two days ago, it went off. And do you know what time it went off? 5.30 in the morning. Today, it went off at 6.30 in the morning. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right. Uh, I'm going to take one of those because I don't know. If I have any at the camp office, um, I grabbed, obviously I grabbed the, uh, let's take that book. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. We got lots of water. Do we have both pots? We only have one pot. I'm going to take a pot and a skillet. And we got a lot of meat. So we're at 51, but that's with all of this meat. That's a lot of meat. So we shouldn't have to climb any ropes. So the other problem is that we're renting this house, right? So, I mean... I've, the wife's in England right now, so I let her know. She's the one that is always in contact with the with the landlord. Uh, it's not some cheap alarm either. It's actually a very good one. But who knows? Something's causing an issue. I don't know what. This is actually the first time it's done it twice in a day. And the furnace has been on for like two weeks. So it's not like it's a furnace issue. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to come out and have a peek at it. Because you, you, you just don't feel safe when that's happening. Yeah, the furnace is central heating. You probably, if it's the South Africa, you probably don't have a furnace. You probably have air conditioning, right? That's the, and the funny thing is, it seems to like when when the alarm has gone off, it's been 
not long after the furnaces kicked in. This is an old house, so I don't know how, how well the insulation is. Yeah, you have AC? Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know how well the insulation is in this house. Um, I don't recognize the brand of the furnace. I've never seen this brand. But that doesn't mean that it's the problem. Um... I don't know. It just, yeah, it comes on after the furnace is kicked in. Furnace has been doing this thing for like two weeks now. It's only started to be an issue the, the last couple of days. Yeah, it's gas furnace. Natural gas. Two bars of scent walking into the fog. <laughs> oh, one thing I didn't think to look for. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had the toolkit. I don't want to take that away from that place. But yeah, the furnace, the thing I was talking about with the insulation, I don't know how good the insulation in this house is, but the furnace will kick in. It'll run for, I don't know, five minutes. And it shuts off. And then, I don't know, 20 minutes later, it might kick in again, run for another five minutes. And I don't have it set very high. I think after the stream, I will check the filter though. I'm just make sure that the filter's all good. I don't know that that would cause anything, but I guess if it's plugged up, then uh, it could send particles through that could be combusted. Currently, yeah, it's it's not terribly cold here right now. I mean, it's not, it's not, well, it is kind of cold. It's like plus four <laughs> Celsius. Uh, I gotta go up here. I was kind of looking at my phone at the same time as I was walking. So I kind of lost where I was going. The thing that sucks with these fire, to, like these smoke alarms, whatever you want to call them, smoke alarm, fire detector, whatever, uh, you can't really shut this one off. Once it's going, you can get up and press the button, but then it'll continue. So maybe it is just a faulty one. Who knows? Finally a stick. I don't think I've noticed any sticks along our path. There's another one, but I'm not going over there. Put that away. Strangely, you don't want to visit the USA, but Canada appeals to you. Really? That is interesting. I've been to the US a few times. Um, I won't lie. I prefer Canada. I think it's easier. Uh, it's not that I think Canada's better, right? But I think it would be easier for an American to move to Canada than I, than, than a Canadian to move to the U S 
personally is what my thought is. Um, I don't know. It's it, the gun thing. That's the thing that I don't like it about it. I'm not where I where I was born and raised. I'm not accustomed to to thinking somebody might have a gun on them and have that be perfectly illegal. So I think if you grow up in a certain type of way, um, you just kind of set that way, I guess. I'm still, I'm just, I'm listening. I know there shouldn't be a bear, but I'm still going to listen for one. I guess I should also elaborate a little bit. I also think that the media does exaggerate things for sensationalism. Um, I've seen how my my own city is supposedly so dangerous. And I don't view it as being dangerous. So Sometimes when you get information and you get thoughts about something, it, it's, it, it could be worse sounding than it really is. You'd like to rep, rent a cabin here, but you're not sure. Uh, not sure we will know what to do. Would you come here in the winter or in the summer? In the winter, there's no bugs. <laughs> that's that's the one saving grace of winter. Is like, oh, good. There's no mosquitoes. Is that a deer? Winter? Yeah. And would you be in a major city or would you be like at a, a national park or something? I'm going this way because I... Ah, whatever. I'm going to try to make it up this way. I got to I gotta relearn how to do this. say that that's almost like aurora <laughs> rural i wonder if i can drop any of this gear you think one major city is much like another it's not yeah they're they're i mean they're definitely different but they're not at the same time you know What's your money out there like compared to Canada's? Like if you uh, if you swapped one dollar, uh, what, what what do you guys even use in South Africa for currency? I don't know what it's called, but if you had one of your dollars.
You use Rans. Where does Rans stand? You're just filling my mouth with words that I can't speak today. <laughs> How does a Rand add up to a Canadian dollar? Does one Rand equal a, do a Canadian dollar plus some change or is it a little bit lower than a Canadian dollar? I'm just accustomed to any place I go, my dollar's worth less than a dollar of their money. One dollar costs you 22 rand. Really? Whoops, this way. Wow. 22 rand equals one dollar here. Interesting. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Maybe I gotta stop making jokes about Canadian money. <laughs> Why can't we live in a world where everybody's dollar equals everybody else's dollar? I don't get economics. It's never been one of my things. Like, I, I honestly, I don't know what makes a dollar more valuable than another dollar. You giggle when I talk about that. <laughs> Thinking to yourself, if he only knew. Yeah, but where you're from, that's the thing too. Because like, the wife's cousin's in England. And he doesn't understand that, yes, okay. The Canadian dollar is... Uh, what was it? I think at the time that we went there, it, it cost me a dollar fifty to get an English or a British pound. And he didn't understand that, so he thought everything that cost him a dollar in, in England would cost me like a dollar fifty in Canada. I'm like, no, but it still cost me a dollar. It's just, it's only when I try to convert it to your money that I get robbed. Yeah, I've never I've never understood what makes a dollar more valuable or less valuable. I know what what causes taxes. And that's usually crooked overspending leaders. Ask me how I know about that. But yeah, why one dollar is not equivalent to another is Baffling. A good loaf of bread is 20 rand. Wow. I think your money works differently than ours then, right? If like a steak is 300 rand. Yeah, because here a steak is about $30. Give or take, obviously. I'm just... I haven't had a steak in a restaurant for a long time, but... Or even from a grocery store. Because... Canadian issues. Which I won't get into. There's Coach's favorite view if he's lurking. And it's a nice night because it's nice and clear. Speaking of bread, I gotta go buy some. I mentioned last time, like, I tried to get bread, but the... When I went, it was too late, so they didn't have any more bakery bread. And I won't buy, like, Wonder Bread or any of that stuff. But I need me some bread. 
Am I just going to continue on to the camp office? I think I am. I mean, depending. Uh, I don't know. I mean... We could get trapped in the middle of the dam. If an aurora hits. The cocktail's 80 rand. See, now how do you all get paid out there, though? Like, what? what's like an hourly wage? Yeah, there's some countries that have a different type of currency that it's like thousands of them equal one of somebody else's and I've never understood that one. Let's grab some sticks since they're directly in our path. Yeah, the alarm's going off again. I don't think you can hear it because I don't see it trigger in my mic in OBS. You might hear it in the background if I'm talking while it's happening. Minimum wage is 28 rand per hour. In my province, minimum wage is $15 an hour. I wish I wish Canada could be like other countries like there's there's other countries where minimum wage could actually you can actually go out and live I guess our minimum wage is basically designed uh, for kids basically who are just starting to work who still live at home with their parents. Uh, you definitely cannot live in this country off of, uh, or at least in my province, at minimum wage. Uh, every province has their own uh, minimum wage in Canada, but they, each province also has their own taxes as well. We have federal taxes, but each province will have their own provincial taxes because, you know. <sighs> Average salary is 30,000 um, rands per month. Yeah, that's a little a little bit higher than what we get here. Thirty thousand is like, um, I don't think our minimum wage would make you thirty thousand dollars a year, but yeah, you guys get a month what we kind of, I mean, uh, the low end here, obviously. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where currency is kind of it's it's interesting to me, but at the same time, it's not interesting enough for me to look into why it is the way it is. Oh, 
Oh, and one thing I can confirm. I can say that my fire alarm isn't continually going off because of my computer. <laughs> As I am sitting right next to it. I think it's a heat issue. Maybe it's just next to, like, cause the, the, the fire alarm is actually right next to a light, a ceiling light, which I should think to myself, that's not even, oh, look at it, it is quite dark. Smart guy should just stay here. Yeah, let's just spend the night here. What the heck? There's a ceiling light, like, a few inches from it, where I kind of wondered, like, is that a smart place for it? And if they had, like, the old-school halogen bulbs that produce heat. There's, like, a fire, like, a smoke detector that, that detects fire as well. It doesn't know that there's flames. It's just detecting the heat. But it's nowhere near any vents. I don't get it. And my landlord doesn't live in the city. He lives up north, from what he tells us. Um, I'm going to pick that up. I have two of these. What is our weight after we drink? I'm probably not going to do anything with these. Uh, here, you know what? Let's take these with us. Let's have a peek in here. At our, our arrow 78 is the worst one. Um, we can actually... Oh, you know what? I don't even care. Oh, look at that. There is a red toolkit. I just saw it right there. Look at that. That'll help. Get us to daylight. Um, actually, how much time is on that bearskin coat? Let's do one hour. All right, good enough for now. Uh, where are you? Let's do that. And there we go. I didn't want to whip out the lantern just to go around the corner. You don't like gas and low ceilings. Yes, yeah, everything out here is natural gas. In my province, anyway. One thing I've never had in a house is an actual fire. I've had a flood. But I never had a fire. I'd rather have a flood as well. Fire is not something you want. Where are you? Right there. Oh, I let go too late. That's that's on me. Yeah, it didn't even register that I took a shot. Um, oh, we got two bleeds. All right, let's get inside. Uh, oh. Oh, look at you. That gives us two. And if we go down here and do this, now we have four. Um, I got to obviously. Where is it? Right there. If I can drop any of oh, and we got two of those. Damn it.
Wow. Two bleeds and two infections. That's ridiculous. Well, and I only have one of these because I'm one short. That's why I like to have six of these. For that exact reason right there is if I get attacked and I get two instances. I'm not desperate for more. Um, we'll do that. That should put you back to where you go yet. All right, now we got to be careful. Oh, I should have checked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, well, there's some old man's beard up ahead. I need seven pieces. If I get seven pieces, that allows me to make, an, with what I have, I can make one more bandage, which gives me my two, and it gives me enough that I can make two more. That's how I like to go. That's what I like. I'm surprised that deer is still over here. That wolf I thought ran this way. Yeah, let's grab these. Well, hopefully there's enough to pluralize it to these. There's one. the two. All right, I'm good with that. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Well, there's six. And I think over by the uh, hunting blind, there should be another one. All right. If we get lucky, maybe we can spook this deer to run ahead of us. I don't really need this deer to be taken down, but why not have bait? <laughs> There's that wolf. I'm going to click on him just to double check, but I'm pretty sure I had 35 arrows before the attack, so it didn't register that I'd shot. Run, you big, fat, juicy buck. <clears throat> that was not a good time to be drinking my coffee, coming up a hill blind like that. Especially when that deer had run this way originally and then turned around and ran the other way. Is there one down here? Put you away. Or did I already take the ones that were down here? I think I did. Alright. Oh, hey, there it is. One exactly. XM wants a stretch. Alright. Just give me a minute here. I'm going to pull that out. 
see if I can do this. There we go. Thanks, XM. Messing around. There we go. I've never felt so cold in my life. Well, that was a hit. Obviously, why I can't hit a bear with that thing, I have no idea, but it was a definite hit. He's bleeding. We saw him run away with the flare. Hey, Murd, welcome in. How you doing? Let's go over here. Check if there's birch bark anywhere. You're all right. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm going to keep this out. <laughs> yeah, XM got the stretch in. She covered you in that. Yes, so you already did the stretch. Like 18 seconds before you said hello. It was within the time. Run. Well, obviously the flare went out. <laughs> Damn your stomach, you had to make food. You, you went down now. Ah, uh, what's the time? Let's let's run. We're cold, so I mean quicker we can get into that building is better. Um, this time, this time, I think we're, we're going to, we're not continuing today. We are going to drop off the, uh, flasks in the cabin, in the camp office, and we're going to make our way over to, uh, the trapper's cabin. And we will make sure that we drink a birch bark tea and a herbal tea before we go to bed. And we will sleep in the best health regenerating bed that I am aware of. Sport bow. Sport bow. You're a hundred. Didn't I shoot one of these? I thought I shot one of them. 
All right. I don't have cloth here either, do I? I'm going to need cloth. Do that. The, pronounci the pronunciation of that word doesn't look right. The word looks like it's gavage. Which I've never heard. The pronunciation. Where is the cloth? Did I already take those ones? No, I didn't. I didn't take the ones out of here. The pronunciation looks like govas. I don't know that word. All right. I can barely walk with this much gear. Let's eat up that, which means forced feeding as by f a f flexible tube and a forced pump. Interesting. Let's repair these. And you're at a hundred. Uh, the damn boots. I, you know what? Uh, you're at 99. I'm not going to repair that one. You're at 81. I'm going to drop you guys. Can I have you? Put you there and there. Well, we got four out of six. Uh, we are warm enough. I'm going to drink another birch bark. And yeah, let's go. I'm going to take you. I don't think there was a whole lot of cloth at the trapper's cabin. I don't remember, but I don't think there was. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You're kind of hidden way over there. Do that. Good enough. Yeah, we got to sleep in that bed. If that one gives you better health regeneration than any of the others, we got to go there. And our visibility is good enough that we shouldn't have any issues. We will be grabbing some sticks. There's usually a cluster in this little area. Sometimes it's a big cluster, sometimes it's a little, but... There we go. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. How heavy is it? 55. We have a lot of those. You know what? Let's eat one. I heard chickens. I heard the chickens. I don't see the chickens. Uh, 
Okay. Right as I picked up my coffee, I thought I heard footsteps over to the side. Which is why I didn't actually look over there, I just kind of stopped. Every once in a while, your own footsteps can sound like your footsteps. Two bars, that bear might... ...be on his way. Between these trees, I thought I saw something brown. I wasn't sure what it was, but it was obviously that fallen tree. Um, I'm going to continue this way in hopes of finding even more birch bark. And because I don't want to go up that hill and see the bear halfway up the hill. Because that ain't no good for nobody. Then I'd have to shoot him with the flare gun. With my luck, he would go down on the side of the hill where I couldn't make a fire. And then I would have to harvest him, which I don't really want to do as we have a bunch of meat already. I'd kind of like to just take what we have and get going. We talking about geese? No. <laughs> Welcome in, Copper. How are you doing? I'm all right. I am all right. Hey, Zazazoli! Welcome in. How are you doing, bud? Oh, we got another piece of birch bark. What does that leave us with? Five. Well, when we leave in the morning, maybe we'll come this way and maybe we get lucky. I mean, we can still find a piece of birch bark up on this hill. But we can also run into a wolf. Um, I don't want to fight the wolf because of my condition. So let's just go. Why can't there be a bunch of deer out in this field today? Where are there some that way?
Alright. Hopefully we can run the rest of the way. Almost. Alright, there we go. We're good, we're good. Put that away. You're down to 78. Is it one of those and two of these? Uh, make sure we're filled up before we repair this. It's just one gut. Okay. There we go. Drop that one there. Uh, I already looked at these. 68, 79. Uh, where's ours? 78. Close enough. Um, let's take that. Let's go over here before I forget. Drop some of those. We have 35 sticks. I got to make some water. This is where I wish I had two pots, but Come on, it's okay. Guy. And that'll be good. All right. Clothing's all good. Where's we have six pieces of leather. We have 16. Sixteen pieces of leather or or sorry cloth uh, What did we have in here? Oh, we did actually have a lot of cloth Let's do that Okay, we have one bandage we have to make another one This pack is getting kind of heavy and what's our water at 18 until boiled uh we can make you guys only 10 minutes whoops uh six to boil let's do that all right those are gonna be good 68 uh Oh wait, it uses the... Why do I always think that a toolkit would be required to make clothing? Let's take that one. And use that one. Let's go three hours. Oh, we got all three hours too. There's the bed. Where's there? It is. All right. Uh, fill the belly. We want one of those. And I think I need to lay down. like a fool, I didn't make the other. But that's okay. Let's do that. Hopefully we wake up with good condition. Almost all of our condition. All right. Uh, we need that. I need a book. We're going to make another fire because we have to make some birch bark. I 
think I'll make th three and uh come on little fire come on yeah let's make three birch barks and a herbal tea Seven, you're 13 minutes. And let's get one of you guys. Oh, I thought I could do it without doing it, but let's go with that. Um, here, let's do that again. All right, and that is our pot. So we need to take that. What's the time of day? It's almost morning. Do that. We'll drink one of those. And I guess let's head out. It's uh, still not quite. Uh, um, where's that workbench? Two eighty two. Well, let's just do it, get it over with. There we go, and we can now drop this knife. We'll drop that. We'll throw that on. Oh. I haven't made any insulation. I forgot. I was trying to remember yesterday what else got ruined. And I couldn't remember. But that's what it was. It was the the snow pants and the insulation. Um, we have four arrow shafts. That should be fine. I wonder if we can drop any of this gear. All right, let's go. Off to Sundered Pass. Let's go this way. Take a little bit different route. Oh, actually, no, I wanted to go this way specifically for... Uh, what to do, what to do? Uh... Yeah, I wanted to go this way specifically to see if there was more birch bark. I don't know if it has a respawn time or if it's affected by wind or what. I really don't know. Could be one, it could be the other. But I don't need to find a lot. I just kind of want to find one more piece. I kind of want to go that way. And see if there's a moose. Oh, damn. <laughs> Look who's here. I saw the wolf that was running that way. And then I looked up and Mr. Bear is right there. Get rid of the slope meter. Good.
Where did that bear get to? Okay, he's way over there. That was a little closer than I would like. see any birch bark up here and I keep the bow out for a little bit um, I do I have these two bows as well as the sport bow they're very low condition. You are at 100%. Um, I haven't decided where I want to drop these bows. I think I might just take them all the way to the hub. And then we'll leave them there. That way we go into Sundered Pass with a nice... 100% sport bow. Although I could have swore one of them was at 99. Did they heal? <laughs> Oh, it takes two shots to move them to 99. But I, I swear I saw it say that. Like when I had looked, I thought one of them said it was at 99. Whichever one it was that I took. Maybe the long dark stroll on me. It could be. Or it could be, like I said, maybe it healed overnight. <laughs> I, I definitely don't need sticks. Ooh, we're gaining temperature. This is good. How much water do we have? 245. That's not a lot. It's some, but it's not a lot. I can carry much more. I'd like the sun to come out because. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, watch your step, Astrid. I'd like the sun to come out. Obviously, you always want to have nice weather. I don't like this. Lumpy ground. There we go. I'm gonna keep that out just in case. We can put this away. Yeah, we're going to get a blizzard.
I got a I got a good mind to just use a stem and just run. Why do I not see him? Okay, where the hell is he? Is it me? Oh my god, that guy scared the hell out of me. The invisible bear. That is not cool. <laughs> That guy attacked you? Oh my. That, that, that is... Right now, that is the worst bug in the game. Bears are not supposed to be invisible. Maybe we're supposed to... Oh, there it is. I know. I... It's not a bug. Oh, you fired a flare. You heard the bear scream, and you, but you didn't see it. Okay. That's, you know what? That might not be a bug. We have that dusting sulfur. I think Hinterland made another use for it. You equip it and you blow it in the air. <laughs> and it exposes the bear when he gets close enough. <laughs> No, all kidding aside. That is a nasty, 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 nasty bug. The only bug that could be worse than an invisible bear is a, a, an invisible moose. You cannot have invisible animals in the game that are going to kill you. And I'm not going to rant on Hinterland. Like I usually end up doing. I'm just simply going to say it's unfortunate that that bug exists and we're going to have to go at least another two months before we hope it is fixed. So I don't know what to do with this region anymore. Because if he's cloaked we don't have a way to uncloak them unless we were magically uh, able to hit them with a flare. That would actually be pretty funny. Somebody else needs to do that, not me. Somebody else. Just provoke them to charge and then fire the flare in that direction and hopefully it hits. Because that's the one good thing. As long as you know he's got a straight path to you, you have a good idea of where you should shoot. That's why you hate that bear here. You always have the flare gun out until you see that bear. Yeah, wow, that was... <laughs> that was spooky. The fact that we were close enough that he... He obviously see... He could obviously see us. We just couldn't see him. And that... <laughs> that could change your day right there. I don't know if you're watching, Darth. You're probably lurking. That's for you. I don't want to fight. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I can't throw a cattail head now, can I? I don't want to... to I don't want to go after the bear. Because 
we're going somewhere. We're only in this region to get to where we're going. Don't scare them things over here. Oh, this is going to be bad because this, you know what? I'm going to get stranded out here. There's another wolf. I'm going to get stuck out here and there's a blizzard's going to hit and I'm not going to exactly know where I'm at. I'm going to have to fight this wolf. Alright, that's thin ice obviously. This shouldn't be. I'm just going to follow his tracks because he took the route that doesn't have thin ice. Now we got to get ahead of that bear. I just don't want a blizzard to kick in while I don't know where I'm at. I mean, I know where I'm at now. Oh, and speak of the devil, right? Oh. Well, that's okay. At least we know the bear is over there. And we know the tracks are over here, so we're good. Um, what we don't know is if this is the nice. All right, we're all good, we're all good. I guess we'll just stay on this side since the wind's blowing from the other. Okay. I can't not take bunches of sticks like that. I just can't. Should have filled up our alertness or our stamina. Jesus is cold. texting my wife I had to let her know about the the issue I was talking about earlier um, get a wind block over here and warm up
I wonder, does this classify as... as a gap, like it looks? I'm gonna save that. Ooh, get out of here. Or might that actually be solid? I don't know. Come on, so when are you on there? Uh, drop all those. Drop all those. Alright, we got two bars. Um, what do we want to heat up? We got 22 birch bark. Oh, can we craft one? No. Just heat one of those. Give it a little jiggle and we will do that. And that. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's go. Yeah, that that notification. I, I really think they need to move that somewhere else. Move it down to the bottom of the screen or something. Don't put it directly in front of us in our line of sight. right um, let's run I think we're gonna spend the night in the uh, maintenance yard with the wind being directly in front of you is you can't get a wind block from it. worse the fact that it slows you down so much or or just what i was just saying like that you, there's no hope of getting a wind block from it it's directly in your face right i just hope that this blizzard means we won't encounter wolves that's something that was always a thing in the past and I no longer believe that it's a thing these days. I don't want to call everything a bug. That's why I want to say that I think they changed the animal behavior. 
during blizzards. Alright, well, it's at least the wind is shifting a bit to their side, so, and it's actually to the good side. We can just hug this wall and get a wind block from it. Well, to some extent, anyways. <laughs> Hey, Lady Q, welcome in. How are you doing? I'm too tired to think straight. I am doing good. Thank you. Aside from this wind. <laughs> But we're about to get out of it, so we got a little bit further to go. I'm not gonna waste a coffee just so I can run a little bit. We're getting the wind block here. It's minus six. It's not terrible. I'm keeping the bow out because, like I said, I don't know if animal behavior during blizzards has been actually changed or if it was just kind of mucked up. Oh, thank you, Lady Q. Thank you. I appreciate that. Still can't run. <laughs> Go figure, eh? I did nothing to, to increase my alertness. But I still think I should be able to run. You know, as soon as they put this bow away, we're going to hear a dog. One of the wolves is going to bark. Whatever. We'll just keep it out. We'll lose a little bit more condition, but that's fine. With the amount of condition we're actually losing, we'll, we'll gain that back after we sleep, which will be shortly. Every once in a while you're talking and you, you hear a sound, but because you were talking, you didn't hear the sound exactly the way it sounded. I thought I heard a bark back there. Oh, that was Murr doing a wolf thing, that's why. Dirty Murr is back. That didn't work right on your end? It definitely worked at this end. I heard a wolf back that way. It was low sounding, but I do, I think it's just because of the blizzard. Alright, safety is just ahead. I wish they were able to, to fix this. Right? You know how, uh, like if there's a cave up ahead and you have weather like this, you can clearly see the outline of the cave. Whereas in regular weather, you can't. Um, I wish they could fix that. I don't know if they ever will. But... It would kind of be nice if we couldn't see that from a distance. Because, as you know, it's real easy 
in this type of weather to get lost. Uh, let's bring these and just break them down. You're at 48. Um, all right, I was gonna take them to the to the hub. Those bows. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Alright, uh, let's eat. And actually, no, let's not drink that way. What time is it? Oh, uh, it's not. We'll lose a little bit while we do this. I think it'll be okay. Now let's do the mittens. How long are you? 40 minutes? Let's do that. All right. And well, it's not exactly bedtime, but it's close enough. Oh, I still didn't make the crampons. No, I didn't. I didn't. And I need those. I need them. Oh, well, we'll check it in the morning. Uh, I think I'm going to end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow.